Hi guys, FIFAN0511 here today with my first um, informed player review of FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Um, today I'm going to be using second informed Dairo Moreno, rated 79, although that he isn't actually rated that in game, which I'll talk to in just a sec. His current price is 19.5k um, on Xbox, on PlayStation he is 18.5k, and on PC he's also 18.5k. So yeah, his um, base stat is rated 79. Um, his um, pace 85, shooting 83, 71 passing, 80 dribbling, 48 defending, and 66 heading. His in-game rating up front and centre forward is 82, and his attacking mid is 81. He has 5 star skills and 4 star weak foot, preferred foot right, um, work rate's medium low, and I bought him for 24k, but I did buy him like a, about a week ago nearly, so... I've had quite a bit of time to do this review, but I've only just got around to actually compiling it. Um, in the time I had him, I played 11 games, although two of them my Xbox throws, so I've only actually played 9 full games of him. And I did get 11 goals and 2 assists. So I'm going to go onto his key stats and his poor stats before showing you his goals and assists. So his key stats, uh, he has 94 curve, which is... Um, just kind of counteract this finishing as well for bending it around the corner and stuff. Uh, 91 acceleration, which helps him get a top speed ridiculously quick. 89 dribbling, which is great for knocking the best players. 88 volleys and 87 finishing, where well, that's just um, as for shooting prowess. And 5 star skills, which is just incredible, um, especially for heel chops, um, rainbow flicks and uh, drag backs. His poor stats, medium attacking work rate. I can't play with strikers with medium or low attacking work rate on this game, don't know why. Uh, 59 jumping and 67 heading accuracy, which is a real, um, really annoying for me because I can't, I love strikers that can head a ball on this game. And 46 aggression, which doesn't actually seem that bad, but to be honest, it does help in strength. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about his stats kind of in depth just a bit more while the goals are playing in the background and just how I have reused um, Moreno. So first, his curve. Um, it was brilliant for playing balls over the top. Not that I managed to get on the, many, um, get on the end of many considering the team I had, which I will put a link to in the description, which I made on foot ed. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, also, his acceleration is brilliant because... If you can play flat balls to him, he's perfectly latching onto him. Although, with his heading, I found that if you put a ball over the top to him, he just wouldn't get there. Next, his finishing is, um, as you saw in that goal there, it's just brilliant. He's, he's got the skill and the dribbling just to knock it past a couple of players and finish it in quite tight angles. So, as you can see here, just a nice bit of skill. Again, just to give him an opportunity. And, um, I don't know if I'd like him a bit more... Um, if I change the formation round, but one thing I'd certainly say is if you get him either one play him attacking middle centre forward or two keep him up front but play him in a formation where there's two strikers. I played a 4 3 3 with Rodriguez and Babano as the wingers, um, and to be honest, I barely noticed Rodriguez or Babano. I know they got a few goals and assists, but I still didn't notice them an awful lot. Um, so. Yeah, what else to talk about? Okay, so his five star skills are absolutely incredible. Um, it's kind of like with his dribbling, he's great for knocking it past players and getting into uh, perfect positions. And uh, going back to if I would use him again, um, I'd make sure I had him in that two up front and I'd recommend using a barbo with him because he's tall, he's also pacey, he's physical, can head a ball. And they're both Colombian, so it's just kind of a good way to get chemistry, that tip. Um, and also, it just kind of makes it a little bit easier to build your team around. Because um, it doesn't really come from the best of divisions. I think it's for, I'm pretty sure it's a Colombian first division. But Moreno's in, so it will be tough to make squads of him. So, um, yeah, um... I don't know how I score from this corner, to be honest. It's kind of just a lucky um, reflection, really. His strength is another thing, um, like I said earlier, about knocking balls over the top to him. I also found that if it was a long-distance race, particular players such as a Barty, um, that I wouldn't get past him, not just because of his pace 
to be honest, because skill-wise, I would knock it past him. But Abate, well, just plays like Abate in full-backs, so but I not got an awful lot of strength. Still managed to outstrength from Moreno. I don't know what it was, because Moreno does have 78 strength, which isn't actually too bad for a 5'10 striker. Um, so, but yeah, let's talk into my final summarised strengths and weaknesses before I go on to my ratings. Okay, so obviously my my favourite strengths about Moreno was his skill, obviously, from the goals you've seen. Dribbling, again, he did do a lot of dribbling for his goals. Shot power, which actually surprised me. I think it's like 85 or 86. It's pretty good. And I could take pot shots, even if it weren't accurate, still try and get a corner off him. His weaknesses is heading. He didn't win a lot of headers. And, um, yeah, he wouldn't go for an awful either. His strength, um, which I couldn't even get past full backs, like really skinny ones. And work rates, medium attack and work rate, I just can't play with. So his overall rating then, I give him a 7.5 out of 10, although I think I'd prefer him maybe even to a 9 if I played a better formation. And his value for money, 8.5 out of 10, because I reckon if you tried him with a barbo, it'd be great. So give it a try. Who should I try next? Uh, please comment below and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and see you soon.